How many of you wonder what love without expectations would be like? Are you someone who feels that love without expectations does not exist? Hi, I'm Asta Tatia, your happiness coach. And today I'm going to be talking about something which is very, very close to my heart. Unconditional love. And the question is, does it exist? So, uh, you know, uh, all of us at the core, we really want love. We want love and we want to give love also to others. So I think at the core of human beings is love. And therefore, this is one of my favorites. Yeah. Uh, now, why did I pick this topic? Okay. Because yesterday, uh, last evening, I think when I was just sitting down, I experienced deep, profound, unconditional love. And why it was, uh, you know, it's even more special is because in these times, you know, when we are so burdened by the expectations, you know, and here I am experiencing this unconditional love. Uh, I see Chandra Mehta ji. Hello, uncle. Hi, Abhishek. Welcome. Thank you for watching. So, you know, and more particularly during the lockdown, the burden of expectations rises much more. So I think there, this came as a respite for me. And no points for guessing that this unconditional love that I experienced was from my mother. Okay, and I really wanted to share this with all of you because there's something huge that I discovered and experienced yesterday. Uh, hi, uh, Anil Bhaya. Hi, Gurpreet. Hi, Ayub. Ramadan Kareem. I just remembered I didn't even wish you all these days. Hi, Gurpreet. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. Such a pleasure to have you all here watching. Uh, so, you know, uh, I just realized that, you know, during these lockdown days, I'm at home, okay, and here is my mom who would cook every day and she will send all these different delicacies to me, you know, that all of us should be eating. And no matter however much I tell her, that's fine, I'll be able to cook. But she's like, no, I'm going to do that. She will just send it. Uh, she is always concerned about whether my maid has come or not come, whether my cook has come or not come, whether uh, any other support she could lend me, um, you know, anything else that she can do for me. That's the only thing that's there on her mind all the time. My happiness is her top agenda, you know. And I can just call her anytime and she will be there with all her energy, all her intention right there for me, no matter whatever mood I am in, you know. And this has been happening throughout. Smallest of my accomplishments will bring, bring an ear-to-ear -ear smile on her face. And I'm always wondering, where does it all come from? And probably most of the times I'm not even, uh, you know, maybe bothered if I use that word. Hi, Siddharth. Hi, Manish. Hi, Tanuji. Welcome. Welcome. So, uh, you know, I, I just realized that all this love with no strings attached, with no expectations is something that she has been showering me with right from my childhood. There were times when she was strict. So she's a retired IAS officer. So there was a lot of discipline, strictness also at times. And I would wonder, Mama, is she karti hai? why is she like this? Why is she like that? But little did I realize that there was this unconditional love behind all of it. And yesterday, sitting there, as I was experiencing, she had sent like a whole, uh, you know, variety of delicacies for me. And I had tears in my eyes, literally. And that is where it's, it's so profound that is there. Hi. Hi, Pratibha. Hi, Ruchi. Welcome. And I had tears in my eyes and I was just so full of gratitude, you know. And tears were not because of the love that I was experiencing. Tears were partly also because how all these years I have probably just taken this love of hers for granted, you know, on so many occasions, you know, I'm, I'm choking as I say this. And, uh, 
I have never, I think, acknowledged her enough, thanked her enough for her unconditional love. And I think this lockdown uh, gave me an opportunity to experience that. It just happened and it was so deep. It was so deep. Um, I urge all of you to really look at people around you who love you unconditionally, uh, people who you love unconditionally, experience that love because to me that is the peak of happiness, peak of happiness. Hi Bhavna, welcome. Uh, guys, if you're able to relate to what I'm saying, you know, please type in unconditional love there. Write unconditional love and send it to me. If you're really able to relate to what I'm saying, that we have people in our lives who love us unconditionally and yet we kind of take them for granted. We miss opportunities um, of acknowledging them, thanking them enough in our lives. And I think for me, it was huge and massive. So what I am going to do, action is very important. What I am going to do after the call, immediately after this Facebook Live is going to call her up and let her know what I am feeling, how my heart is so, so full of gratitude. And I really want to thank her. Um, I urge all of you to do this. Take this opportunity to thank people, acknowledge people who love you unconditionally. I think there cannot be a bigger gift in life if you have somebody who loves you without any expectations, who loves you for who you are, no matter what, no matter what you do, no matter what tantrums you throw, no matter, um, you know, you respond, you don't respond, you are doing whatever you want to, but they are there for you. They are there rock solid for you and they are your pillars of strength, right? So please, please go ahead and acknowledge them. Let them know what you feel. Time for us to, uh, you know, stop and grab that moment and do that. So quickly to take you back through what we've spoken about, um, I think we started with how all of us feel that unconditional love probably doesn't exist. You know, it is, it's uh, expectations that is uh, there all around uh, in all the relationships. So the question is, unconditional love, does it even exist? Those expectations, are they there or, you know, we have that unconditional love? And then I shared how I experienced that hugely, profoundly, very, very deeply yesterday. And uh, that was through my mom. Thank you, Mama. Thank you so much. Uh, you know, if you're watching this, and I think Papa did mention you're watching this. Thank you for watching this. Uh, hi, Shitaji. Welcome. Uh, thank you, all those who've written unconditional there. You know, all of you have written there. I, I can, uh, you know, really imagine what you all are feeling and thank you for really getting present to the fact that you have people around you who love you unconditionally so please please take this opportunity of experiencing that love and trust me if you do that very deeply very profoundly that's the peak of happiness i experienced it yesterday and i can't thank the universe enough for giving me this and i'm so full of gratitude call to action Go ahead, acknowledge, say thank you, and do not take for granted. So that's what I'm going to do. If you liked it, if you could relate to it, please share with me. I would love to hear those of you who are, who are watching live, uh, or even those who have uh, joined in now of watching the recorded version. Please let me know, uh, you know, uh, who is that person who is uh, giving you that unconditional love. And did you acknowledge or not? And how was the experience? Please, please do that. And uh, yes, if you like the video, please do share it. Uh, lovely watching. Okay, Shubham, Sanjay, Chacha, Sanjay Surana ji, Tanu ji. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying on. It really means a lot. Gives me a lot of encouragement. Gives me a lot of love. And I think I value this so much. Thank you. Thank you for all the love and see you soon. Bye-bye.